Hi! It's been a minute, right? Yeah. This video in particular, uh, not the company at all, but the video production side of it has been a nightmare. Let me just tell you. I started filming this last year. I'm not proud of it, but not only was the project extra long, this, this video is my blood, sweat, and tears, okay? <laughs> so give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I really don't care. Pick one. <laughs> so Winnie's Picks. Uh, reached out to me. So this these two kits were sent to me to do this video. Uh, they are a paint by numbers company, okay? They have a website and I will link it in the description box below. But um, they reached out to me and then I came up with the idea that I was going to incorporate my daughters into the video. Um, shortly after I agreed to do this video, I got frozen shoulder. And that's a whole different video for another time but um so I was impaired <laughs> Dr dramatically um but we super loved the project okay um my daughter picked a one and I'll pop like a, the picture of it up on the screen she picked carnations good wine and sunbeams which is a really pretty not at all what I thought she was gonna pick um but a very artistic you know type of canvas. Um, you can also send in a picture that you would like to turn into a painting and they'll put it in a paint by numbers kit for you. I haven't done it yet because clearly I'm not even finished this project of mine, but I picked the under the wave sunset for my project. I will show them to you. <laughs> <laughs> but first, let me tell you all the great things. Um, you get a tube, okay, that it comes in a tube, and we've lost some of the things in this last year, okay, of doing this project. So, but I've taken video footage. So, in the tube, you get all your paint. You get paint brushes, which this is all I have left from both tubes. It's not because they don't give you enough, it's because my children got to it. Do I need to say anything else? These are what you get, and they're plenty good. Uh, for doing this project. I have plenty of paintbrushes if I needed to reach for something else and no one did. So uh, they worked just fine. Uh, the, the paints, you get them and this reminds me of just paint by numbers when I was a kid. You know, these little jelly, these little containers of paint and I just remember playing with them a lot as a kid. And they're, they they do all the work for you. They they number it based on what kit you purchased. Everything comes in your tube. And you just keep your numbers and your paint brushes. And then they also have a mounting, some mounting hardware that comes with it. They give you the canvas with your paint by numbers. And then they also give you a kind of like a cheat sheet, which at first, when I first looked at it, I was like, what is this? What are you supposed to do with this? Like, can I color this? Even my daughter was like, hey, can we use our markers on it? I tried using uh, alcohol markers on the canvas and it, it didn't turn out the as good as you would want. So I wouldn't recommend trying to do that. But, but my daughter had the idea. Can I use alcohol markers in place of the paints? The paints themselves, most of them were great. Uh, my daughter did have a little bit of uh, pigment issues with maybe just a couple of the colors. Um, but for the most part, the paints were plenty opaque and they did the job. So here is my daughter's. She finished hers in a couple of months. It tells you that it takes about 50 hours per canvas. And that's a lot of time. Um, my daughter was doing that after school or in between other projects that she was working on. So this took her a couple of months to do it, but this is the finished project. Carnations, good wine, and sunbeams. <laughs> so um, I think it turned out fabulous. It's not perfect. There are some places where she might have messed up or chose the pick the wrong color. The that little map that they send you is really key. Hang on to that because the numbers, and I'll put this in the down facing camera, the numbers are very small. 
and sometimes it gets really hard especially when you're painting so close together um, the numbers might get covered up so that map that they give you is really key and it comes with like a picture of what your project is supposed to look like we, we're still working on this one um, you can see that there's a sunset and you can see the wave starting to appear but uh, yeah there's still some more work we still have paints and the brushes so um, my my stepdaughter's actually helping me work on this one I think it's really fun especially if you're looking for something just to do almost like a puzzle uh, over a long period of time like a long project uh, I know those little gem um, paintings are really popular now too and I think this goes right along with you know, my artistic capability, because my daughter could probably paint this herself uh, freehand, but I can't do that. So <laughs> this is a great way to paint and have fun and have fun with it. So um, I also, this is just a foam board um, that I got from the dollar store and taped it with some purple tape so that it's easier to paint uh, while you're working on it. That's just a little a little helpful tip um, otherwise it rolls up this one is going to be mounted I'm gonna get a frame for it um, and she can keep it if she wants or I can hang it up down here and there it goes right in here for safekeeping and kit until it can be framed so I encourage you to check out Winnie's picks it's a great project to do especially if maybe you wanted to work on it with someone else or alone the information should be in the description box below said we have to get Kayla in a Sonic costume. Did he really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he remembered. And I said, we will look, but I'm not, I don't have my hopes up.